Hi, today we're going to be take down lit and I'm awesome review of Bear Grylls Gerber or Mini Suspension Maki Tool. So pretty much it's supposed to be somewhat of a you know pocket multi tool pliers. Kind of like a leather man. If anyone has a leather man, you can kind of know what I'm talking about. I don't because they're a little pricey for me, but yeah. So it says 11 tools. Let's see if we can get the camera focus a little bit better. Yeah, 11 tools. Butterfly open, spring loaded. Uh, outboard compartment. Lightweight. Gerber guarantee. Says keychain ready. Oh, I guess this one actually is keychain ready. Which doesn't make sense on this little fella right here, the uh, green horn. Because the green horn. Yeah. The green horn is kind of stupid. Now, wait, the green horn is 100% stupid. I mean, the only useful thing on the green horn is made of two pit. And if you lost a two pit, no big deal. Can you buy a two pit from this guy? No, and if you did, he'll probably charge you like 45 bucks for a freaking 2-pit. Can you 3D print a 2-pit? 100% absolutely. That's what it looks like. It looks like it was just 3D printed. But if you look a little bit closer, it's more of like a resin print maybe. Like it's been cast for a mold. But I'm saying if you do have a 3D printer, you probably could print a couple of these little 2-pits out. And have extra ones, you know. But I mean, why is this thing does not have a keychain? I mean, there's plenty of room to want a keychain through any of these little slots back here. I have no idea. But, yeah, that's how this guy decides to do his stuff. So what do we get here? Uh, okay, let's see if the camera can focus. Spring loaded jars. Jaws. Yeah. Weather pliers. Wire cutters. Bottle opener, nail cleaner. So I've got some. Oh, right there is the nail cleaner. Here's the file. A uh, lanyard wing. Cross head screwdriver. It's a Phillips, dude. This dude doesn't even know what a Phillips screwdriver is. He's like, it's a cross head. Yeah, that's also known. As a Phillips screwdriver, yeah, hello, dude. Phillips medium and small flat head screwdriver. Well, at least he didn't say it's a line head screwdriver. At least this one, he does know what a flat head screwdriver is. But cross head is a Phillips tweezers. I bet the tweezers are garbage because I mean, on the green horn, the tweezers were absolutely garbage. Fine edge blade. Oh my god, I hope the fine edge blade is not the fine edge blade that was on those greenhorns. The greenhorn. It's maybe a great blade for getting a little bit of kindling going. A lot of whittling. So if you're someone who likes to whittle your wood, the greenhorn is going to be great. Yeah, I don't like this dude. Because a lot of problems. One, he sells his gear like three and a half to five times on a ridiculous mark price. I don't like that. Two, this guy on his website, he'll just throw anything under anything. Like, if this is a, you know, multi tool type of thing, or slash, you know, pair of pliers, he'll just say, oh, I'll throw it under a knife section. I'll throw it under the Fitz knife. The dude doesn't even know what a Fitz knife is. This is a Fitz knife, because it's Fitz, it can't do anything. This is a folding knife because it folds. He's like, no, I just, it's a knife, and it's a knife. No, there's different knives. There's folding knives, there's, you know, thumb knives, there's assist knives, there's fits knives, there's OTF, which is out the front, which is kind of what a spring assist knife is kind of going to be like. Yeah, this dude has no idea on knives. He's all about the money. And I bet if you ask the guy, you know, if you had a hidden camera and mine, it's like, dude, if you're ever in a survival situation, would you ever 
have your survival gear on you and use it. I bet 100% he'll be like, no, I'll have someone else's gear. I know their gear is more of a better quality, way cheaper price. And he'd be like, dude, I just caught you. You're trying to sell your gear that no one could afford at the price. And you just said that, you know, you want to use someone else's gear. That would be hilariously funny. This guy, I guess, has a TV show. I cannot find on cable. I tried looking it up on YouTube. Cannot find. Not even a small little trailer or a clip on it. Yeah, I heard this guy is really bad to his crew. And, like, his camera people and his, the rest of his crew. I don't know how much of that is true, but... For me, I don't really like this guy because his products are about the same quality as other brand products. Or even sometimes even worse than other brand products. And the price. The price is probably one of the most important things. Oh, the reason why I did not buy this guy's gear. Like, as we can see, this one's not that bad, you know. It's going to go for about 10 bucks. Or oh, where uh, Home Depot. Because, yeah, that's what their symbol looks like for their coins thing. So, I mean, 10 bucks full price. Eh, not that bad of a price, I would say. But, like, I just like his little fire starter. He was charging 65 bucks for it. And I saw the UST, you know, Ultimate Survival Technology one. They wanted 12 bucks for it. It's going to do the same thing. A fire starter should start a fire. You know, that's, it's J-O-B. It's J-O-B, it's making fire. Getting your fire started. So why would you pay 65 bucks just because it says his name. It has his logo on there. And a little whistle when you could spend 12 bucks. And it's going to do the exact same thing. And you're going to be saving tons of money. Yeah. Let's get this out. And take a look at it. Hmm. This one looks like it comes with a little bit different instructions. So... I want to see what this little orange paper is. Apparently the orange paper is not bad. It stinks. It smells like wood. To be honest with you. If you ever went into like a Home Depot. Like around there. Wood section. Maybe a Lowe's. I haven't really smelled it at Menards. But you know like some home improvement stores. Where you could. Smell like before you get down those aisles, or what those aisles are going to be like. If it's cleaners, you can smell the cleaners. If it's like oil and stuff, you can smell that. If you go down like the aisles where it's like all those pieces of wood that you could buy, like two by fours and you know, plywood and stuff like that, where you can smell it, that's what this smells like. It smells 100% wood smell. Yeah, that is just freaky weird. But, yeah, that's what it smells like. So it says Gerber on that side, Gerber on this side. I mean, it's okay for a pair of pliers for the spring. I'm not really sure where the spring is actually located at. Which is kind of odd, because most pair of pliers, you see like a spring somewhere around here, or a little bit right there or something. And these ones, feels like the spring is actually located right in the two parts here. Which is a bit odd. Okay. There's our key wing. Got the bad even sets Gerber right there. Uh, main suspension P. So it says main suspension dash P. So I guess this is the main suspension P series. Folds up nice and easy. Oop. Just uh, watch your finger. When you are folding up, yeah, those pliers they want to get you. It's not this part that will get you, it's those pair of pliers that will get you. And let's see if I can fold that out again. 
it folds up really nice. I mean, it actually kind of has like a nice little almost under armor design. If you look right here, that's kind of what it looks like. And get into all the tools. There is, you know, the nail cleaner and the file. I have to say the file actually looks pretty darn good. It almost looks like instead of taking like a wire stamp hair file or having that cross hat so you find a lot of pocket knife nail files. It kinda has, you know, almost diamond dust on it that you could find like a better quality nail file. So that's kinda cool. I see something here that says Nail file. Not pretty sure. Why they had it. Mm. A little bit tricky. But I guess this is their uh, cross head screwdriver. Wow. It's like a really horrible stamp. Like, if this was like a metal press, would you just stamp it? You can see where it looks like they left metal steel on there that the stamp did not stamp it in the die that good. This is just a flathead that had a horrible die stamp job done to it. I mean, it's not even a Phillips, which it should be a Phillips, but I mean, my god, it's like garbage. Then you have, what is this little thingy here? I'm not even sure what the heck this thing is. Oh, bottle opener. It's a bottle opener, which... Yeah, I can see the bottle opener, but it looks even more like a forehead. Than what... <laughs> I mean, this is just a joke right there. It's weird that this says... Uh, 